your program is running and during execution if your program suddenly stops execution so obviously it has encountered some error and that's the reason it has stopped execution now that error can be one syntax error now when syntax error will occur when you are not following the grammar whatever is prescribed by the language so whatever grammar the syntactic rules whatever that language has given that rules if you are not following so obviously syntax error will come and if your program is syntactically correct means you have perfectly followed all the grammar rules and still your program has stopped suddenly execution so obviously that is because of exception means if it's not a syntax error then it's an exception get it so generally it occurs because of logical errors and you can handle it how to handle it that too i'll tell you but when your program stops execution not because of syntax error then it is an exception okay so as i said a, prog a python program it is running line by line and suddenly it has stopped its execution so why because it has encountered an error so a python program terminates as soon as it encounters an unhandled error obviously error is encountered but you have not taken care of that error means you have not handled it and therefore the execution of the program stop now this error can be one as i said syntax error syntax error means when you are not following the grammar rules whatever the language has prescribed getting or no many rules like if you have a string and you are going for multiple line string so you cannot extend a single quoted or double quoted string more than one line it has to be three quotes only which you know now if it is a single quote and you are continuing on the next line obviously it will generate a error many many other rules are there right lot of syntactic errors are there like in print statement only you are trying to do assigning to a variable x equal to 10 so it will think that x is a parameter of print and print doesn't have only x parameter so it will give again a error getting so many situations are there where you are not following the grammar rule or you are assigning 10 and then you are writing y is equal to x plus equal to 5 so two things cannot be done when it is compound assignment plus assignment again a syntax error so lot of situations are there where if you are not following the grammar rule then it will generate a syntax error and grammatically it is correct your program is syntactically fine and still the error has occurred so obviously it is because of exception get it so what are exceptions and then how to take care of it everything we will be discussing now first we'll talk about syntax error so errors caused by not following the proper structure that is the grammar of the language like natural languages also give their grammar and while writing something in that natural language if you don't follow the grammar that statement is obviously going to be wrong isn't it so the error caused by not following the grammar rules that is the syntax of the language then we call it as a syntax error or parser right example like if a less than 3 i am writing and i forgot to write colon that is a header line no? so as it's a header line every header line has to complete with colon so if you are not completing with colon it will give a error same is the case for class like you are defining a class cat or test and you forgot to write colon it will give a error you understanding you are defining a function and colon you forgot to write it will give a error so obviously you are not following the grammar rule that is a syntax rule so therefore what occurs syntax error and suppose your program is syntactically fine and then also it has stopped execution so obviously it has encountered which error an exception okay see you now in this context the colon is missing so according to the grammar rule every header line should end with 
कोलन तो एज इट्स नॉट एंडिंग विथ कोलन इट इज रॉन्ग तो कोलन इज मिसिंग इन द इफ स्टेटमेंट राइट एंड सेकेंड इज एक्सेप्शन आई से नाउ एक्सेप्शन एल गिव यू अस्टमेटिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ वॉट इज एन एक्सेप्शन यर जस्ट रिमेंबर एक्सेप्शन मीन्स वेन देर आर नो सिंटैक्स एर okay there are no syntax error and still your program has terminated and still your program has stopped its execution and your program is syntactically fine so obviously it is because of exception getting see errors that occur at run time getting after passing the syntax test means your program is perfectly fine with syntactic point of view there is no grammar problem and still the program has stopped execution so obviously it is because of exception right example i'll give you like you're trying to open a file a.txt in a read mode by default it is read mode but if this file doesn't exist so obviously when you're opening a file for reading it has to exist if it is for writing it will create it but if you're opening for reading purpose the file should exist if it doesn't exist it will throw an exception so this is not because of syntactic error syntax is perfectly fine function open name of the file then you're collecting the file object everything is perfect then also the program has stopped execution why because at run time it finds that ki this file which you're trying to open for reading doesn't exist getting okay? not only this there are many other situations this is one situation listed there are many such situations which we are going to see where what will occur exception okay like you are trying to convert a string to integer but the string doesn't contain number that is a problem so that is not syntax error it is an exception okay you are trying to add may concatenate two strings but one is a string and another is something else then also it will give you a type error value error type error many other you are trying to access something from a list okay and you are going beyond the limit beyond the its cup uh, whatever the range is so it will raise an index error like in java we we get array index out of bound exception here it is an index error you are trying to access something from a dictionary okay using a key but in the dictionary that key doesn't exist only so it will generate a key error so like this there are so many situations where the program is syntactically fine but then also the program has stopped execution so that situation is exception okay now we'll talk about systematically we'll talk about what is exception so you can say exception is an abnormal condition or an unusual condition it is an unusual condition which is occurred during during execution of program okay so what is an exception you can say now from programming point of view what is exception i am coming to that definition just for understanding point of view we can say exception is an unusual or abnormal condition occurred during the execution of program means we were not expecting by seeing the program we think everything is going fine everything is perfectly fine i have written the program perfectly correct and the program will run properly step by step and then also an abnormal condition occurred and the program execution stopped so that is exception getting which occurs in real life also many times like many times like you are doing your work and you think everything is going fine and suddenly some unusual thing occurs and our normal flow is disrupted means there is an interrupt coming in our normal flow yes or no like normally you are walking on the road okay and suddenly rain start there is no uh, guarantee about the change in the climate or something so if suddenly the rain start to that is an abnormal thing no yes or no clear to so many such situations occur where the normal flow is going 
and in that normal flow some unusual thing occur and your normal working is interrupted correct okay, right? now from program programming point of view or from python's aspect what is exception so you can say exception is an object ultimately see we are coming to the concept object that is the speciality of python that everything is ultimately an object so from programming aspect we can say exception is an object created at run time it's an object created at run time which is describing the problem means that object dunder method is called which dunder method double underscore str double underscore and that dunder method will return a string describing about the problem okay and obviously after that the execution will stop if you want that the execution should not stop and it should give some proper descriptive message and it should continue with the following code then obviously that exceptions you have to handle it and how to handle it for that they have given proper constructs okay python has given proper constructs to take care of it right so exception is an object created at run time as i said exception is an object which is created at run time and this object describes about the problem okay so that object will be created by your python run time environment and that object will describe what the problem is and after giving the description the program will halt if you want it should not halt it should give some uh, meaningful message and it should continue with the remaining code then you can handle that problem and for handling python has given facilities get it clear so i hope you got it now always remember all the possible type of problems whatever are there that python has already listed it means python has already done the list of all possible problems and for every problem there is a corresponding class please understand that huh? okay python has made the list of what all the possible problem okay right? and as many problems python has listed for every problem there is a corresponding class okay right? so python has already created classes for each and every type of problem and all the problems are already listed you understanding clear so the listing of all the problems is already done for every problem there is a corresponding class getting right? and now during execution if the abnormal situation has occurred so what it will do is it will check that it is a which problem from this listed problem and from this listed problem with whichever problem it match its corresponding class object is created and then that object describes the problem correct right? and then the execution stop agreed so what is exception first of all that is clear to you it is an unusual or it's an abnormal condition occurring during program execution and it is resulting in the halt of program for sure getting right? whenever that abnormal thing occur and obviously you have not handled it if you have not taken care of that abnormal situation then sure the program execution will stop right as i said many times in real life like you are driving the bike or you are driving the car and suddenly the cat come in between so if suddenly the cat is crossing the road so it is an abnormal situation which has occurred during your normal flow or you are normally walking on the road and rain start coming okay so that is what an unusual thing so an abnormal condition or an unusual condition which is occurring during the execution and because of that abnormal thing the program is halted so we call it as exception now from programmer's point of view or from python's point of view what is an exception so i said it is an object 
which is created at runtime by your python runtime environment that object is created at runtime right when whenever that abnormal thing occurs so that object is created and then that object describes about the problem and after giving the description about the problem the program halt right i hope you got it see an object that is generated at run time to describe the problem encountered during the execution of program is an exception so always remember exception is a object which is created by your python runtime environment during execution and why that object is being created because there is some abnormal thing in your program and to describe that abnormal thing that object is created and that object is telling what the problem is and after that the execution will halt right okay and as i said like for all types of problems there are corresponding classes python has done already the listing python has already done listing of what all the problems and for every problem there is a corresponding class so during execution when that abnormal thing occur it will check it is which from that listed one and if it matches with any one its corresponding class object is created and then that object describes the problem and the execution stop now python has given facility to avoid that halting means python says that if you want to avoid that halt of execution you can handle these problems getting right? and how to handle it that's what we are going to study getting right? now in python there are four possibilities okay exception is raised implicitly by your pvm and pvm only takes care of it getting right? see exception raised implicitly and can be handled by pvm pvm only takes care of it actually pvm is having ability to take care of all types of problem but in some situation you have to tell pvm and in some case pvm itself will take care of it getting so here see when i am telling this situation exception raised implicitly and handled by pvm only that is implicit so that is whenever your problem is from the listed one from the listed one if your problem is so obviously who will raise the error pvm only and suppose you have not taken care of it so who will take care of it pvm only get it second exception raised implicit but handled by pvm so sorry raised implicit but handled by programmer i wanted to say clear so that facility also python has given so raised implicit but taken care by programmer so if programmer is supposed to take care of it so for that they have given one construct called try except block try except block so how to use that try except block its syntax everything will be learning but this is the second situation but always remember when the second situation will occur when the problem is from the listed one your problem is from the listed one and from that listed one only the problem has occurred so who will only raise the problem pvm but that problem is taken care by whom by the programmer getting like suppose you are walking on the road and suddenly rain start but now you were you were carrying an raincoat or you were carrying an umbrella so rain start to suddenly you are opening the umbrella and you are taking the care of that problem you understanding or no clear so who is taking care of it programmer but raised by whom pvm pvm raises it but programmer handles it by writing a try except block which in c++ and java we write a try catch block okay but when this situation occur that is clear to you i hope it is clear when when the problem is from the listed one right now the third situation see 
exception is raised explicitly but taken care by pvm handled pvm but raised by v people programmer is raising it now when the situation will come when programmer is supposed to raise when the problem is not from the listed one it is your user defined condition like you are checking the salary someone gave salary negative only or you are calculating salary and number of days so someone gives days more than 31 okay so generally months don't have number of days more than 31 and person has entered number of days as 31 salary given is negative so that is wrong no these are all wrong values or you are entering a email at id and in that email id at the rate only is not there so these are the conditions which are not pre listed it's not from the pre listed problem it is your user defined problem so exception is raised by whom v people and finally raising also explicitly and handling also explicitly okay so we are raising it explicit and handling also explicit so all these four possibilities python has given to you okay so i hope you are understanding the concept is it clear to you first of all what is an exception that is clear okay exception means when the problem is not because of syntax error when there is no syntax error and still your program has halted so it is obviously because of exception an exception which is an unusual or an abnormal thing occurred during run time and it has halted your program execution you can say exception is a object which is created at run time okay it's a object which is created at run time and that object which is created at run time it is describing about the problem okay python has already done the list of all the types of problem and suppose the problem is one among that listed one so it will create a object of that problems corresponding class because every problem is having a corresponding class so whichever class is there its corresponding uh, sorry whichever problem is there its corresponding class object is created getting okay so i hope you are understanding and what these four possibilities are that are clear to you so first is clear to you raised implicit handled implicit raised also by pvm and taken care by pvm raised by pvm but handled by programmer raised by v people but pvm handle it and we only raise it and we only handle it get it and when the last situation or the third situation is occurring when we have to raise it when your problem is not from the listed one so whatever the listed problems are from that if your problem is not there then obviously who has to raise it v people how to raise it for that too there are statements provided okay so just quickly give me the confirmation concept is clear now more of programming will learn more with illustrations le now this is actually the hierarchy of classes because i told you na all the problems are listed by python and for every problem there is a corresponding class whichever problem there is a corresponding class problem there is a corresponding class so these are the listed one and they have their perfect hierarchy so there is a root class called base exception its parent is object okay it is uh, the first root is base exception from that exception system exit generator exit interrupt keyboard interrupt these all are the child class of base exception then from exception there is a attribute error arithmetic error eof name error all these are there type error value error okay from arithmetic there is zero division error floating point error overflow error right like os error these are the few so these are the listed one there are many more but uh, the commonly prominent one the 
common one which we which occur that I have listed here, right? Okay, so these are the different exception classes. Huh? These are the classes which Python has already provided, and every one is uh, designated for the respective problem. Means for every problem there is a corresponding class. Okay. And for each problem, there is a corresponding class. If your problem is from that listed one, that corresponding class object is created. Okay. Now we will go with the first thing. There are four possibilities I told you. Isn't it? What are that four possibilities? Raised implicit, handled implicit. Raised implicit, but handled explicit. Right? Raised explicit, handled implicit. And both explicit so all four things we have to discuss in this chapter so we will go now with the first thing that the problem is raised also by pvm and pvm only is taking care of it programmer is not taking care so if pvm takes the care sure your program is going to halt if you are taking care of it so you have chance of continuing with the execution getting so now we will discuss about the first situation. So few problems I list out and you'll come to know that in all this, both the things are happening implicit. Python only is raising the problem and PVM only is taking care of it. Okay? Like first situation, see, you have created a class, an empty class. Then you're creating an object of it and then directly you're trying to access its property. So suppose that object is not having only that property. So obviously will it give an attribute error? Yes. Now see, I'm writing print t dot x. So there is no property only or an attribute only x in this object. So it generates an attribute error. So attribute error is also class. Remember, in the hierarchy which I gave you, get it? In this hierarchy, can you see there is a problem called attribute error. So attribute error is a class, huh? remember. It is a name of a class. And the object of this class is created. Object of this class is created at runtime by your Python runtime environment. It creates an object and that object describes about the problem. But why the object of that class is created? Because the problem is associated with it. It is from the listed one. And from that listed one, this problem matches with it. So it will have its corresponding class. I told you already. So the corresponding class object is created. Getting clear? If you want, I'll show you this. See, I'm creating class test as an empty class. Then I'm creating an object of test class. And then I'm trying to access its property. But from where the property will come? When you have not added only that property, how it will come? Will it come magically? No. When you only have not added any property to that object and you're directly trying to access it, obviously it will generate an error. Syntactically, you can see it is everything fine. Class is perfectly written, object creation right. Accessing property syntax is right, but runtime it finds that there is no property only or attribute only with the name X. So it generates a attribute error. See, test object has no attribute X. Now in this case, see, if I would have written, this is your class. I've created an object. Then I'm adding one property X with value 10. And now if you try to access it, it won't give error. Because now in that object T, there is an attribute with the name X. So now attribute error doesn't occur. Because you have added no, one attribute X in that object. So now when you access it, it is having that attribute. Therefore it prints it. It doesn't give any error. Getting? Okay. So I hope you got it. See, raised when attribute assignment or reference fails. Okay, means whenever you are trying to access an attribute, it will give you an error. This is one situation. 
but does it come in that f- uh, first category of that four combinations which i gave you four combinations i told implicit raised implicit handled implicit raised explicit handled raised explicit handled implicit and both raising and handling both done explicit is it coming in that first category yes yes okay why because for the problem there is a corresponding class object of that class is created by pvm only and pvm only describes the problem correct right? then this is another situation see you are trying to import a module but there is no module only with that name so it will raise module not found error syntax is perfectly fine import the module name but runtime when it tries to load that module there is no module only with that name so it generates sometimes it gives import error also import error is the parent of this okay so module not found error no module named my module see if you are trying to import a module um, my mod okay can you see it generates some module not found error now module not found error is also class huh? please remember this is a class and the object of this class is created at run time and then that object describes the problem and the program halt getting see raised when the imported module is not found this is one situation one more situation see you are creating a array means a list is as good as an array according to python and then you are trying to access any element of that array using index we have discussed don't say like you don't remember it in chapter 4 when we discussed data structures that time we have seen how to access elements of a list so how to access elements of list by writing object square bracket index theek hai to index error list index out of range is it right okay so why it is giving index error because you are trying to access it beyond the limit there are three only 0 1 2 so how come you will access fifth value same case in java it raises array index out of bounds exception so big class name there also the mechanism is same java exactly does the same thing implicit raised implicit handled implicit raised explicit handled same all four combinations java also gives getting okay, similar technique right see this is applicable for tuple also list also you have created a list 10 20 30 and you are trying to access something beyond the limit okay it? it gives a error index error list index out of range right to so raised when the index of a sequence is out of range getting okay, right? then this is a dictionary right now this also you remember in chapter 4 we have discussed a dictionary to so in dictionary it is a key value pair key value key value so it is just a list of key value pair and how do you access values from the dictionary by writing d square bracket key so it will return the value associated with it getting d equal to key value now if i am writing d of y no problem there is a key with name y but when i write d of z so syntactically it is perfectly fine nothing error a dictionary object square bracket key so syntactically you are not wrong but run time when it tries to find out a key z in the dictionary it's not present so it will generate a key error see key error z clear okay raised when a key is not found in a dictionary right then sometimes you are trying to access any variable but the variable is not created only and when a variable is created when you assign something isn't it that is the rule of python whenever you assign any value to a variable then what happens the variable gets created 
तो इफ द वेरिएबल इज नॉट क्रिएटेड ओनली यू आर डायरेक्टली ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस इट तो इट जनरेट्स अ नेम एरर तो दीज आर कॉमनली एनकाउंटर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स यू हैव एनकाउंटर्ड दिस इन द पास्ट सी इफ आई एम राइटिंग प्रिंट टी तो देर इज अ टी इज ऑलरेडी देर तो टी इंस्टेड ऑफ टी एम राइटिंग एस तो इज देर अ ऑब्जेक्ट विद द नेम एस clear no so it will give a name error see name s is not defined it generates a name error agreed okay so i hope you are understanding raised when a variable is not found in local or global scope whenever that variable you are trying to access it and if that variable doesn't exist only in the symbol table so in the symbol table it checks so there is no entry only for the name x so obviously it will raise an name error this is also commonly found this another example see you are trying to concatenate one string and one integer which is not at all allowed maybe in other languages it is allowed like in java it converts automatic 45 to string if the same thing you write in java it doesn't give a error it will convert 45 to string and then it concatenates and returns a new string called 4545 python will not automatically convert 45 to double quote 45 okay so python says if you want to do concatenation both are strictly supposed to be string and if they both are not string it generates a type error see can only concatenate string to string it cannot concatenate a int to string so raised when a function or operation is applied to an object of incorrect type now what is the function plus plus is your function but it is applied on the wrong data type one string and one integer which is not allowed see does it generate type error can only concatenate string to string okay so this is also one type of problem this is another problem see you are giving one string to convert it to integer now converting a string to integer is legal therefore it is not generating a type error string is a legal type to convert to integer it is not like that string cannot be converted to integer strings can be converted to integer that is the reason type error doesn't come but inside that string there has to be a valid numerical value if the string doesn't contain proper numerical value it is going to generate a value error see invalid literal for int with base 10 ram it is saying ram is not a correct base 10 number okay it is not a valid base 10 number agreed theek hai see raised when a function or operation is applied to an object of incorrect type again yep. again i have written wrong incorrect value it should be theek hai okay got it like example print int of ram so it generates a value error but see print int of double quote 45 right not problem so that's what i said the data type is valid but the value in that data type is not valid so double quote ram the string is valid to convert to integer but inside that string there is wrong value it is not base 10 value okay therefore it generates error you understanding clear i hope the concept is clear then this is the situation when you are trying to divide something with zero 5 by 0 so anything divided by zero is not valid in mathematics we write it is not defined indefinite but in programming it is invalid to divide anything with zero 
तो इट जनरेट अ जीरो डिविजन एरर यू कैन सी प्रिंट फाइव बाई जीरो एंड राइटिंग डज इट जनरेट जीरो डिविजन एरर डिविजन बाय जीरो दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज द क्लास ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड फॉर एवरी कर प्रॉब्लम देर इज अ करस्पॉन्डिंग क्लास तो दिस इज द क्लास फॉर दैट प्रॉब्लम and this is the description which is uh, giving some information about that problem get it so here why it has occurred raised when the second operand of division or modulo operation is zero in case of modulo also if i would have written 5 modulo 0 then also it will raise zero division error get it so i hope you understood this first situation now this first situation what it was trying to convey is clear to you yes sir yep in all this what we are learning is that exceptions are raised and handled both by pvm the seven eight examples whatever i gave in all that examples you observed that the problem is raised by pvm only and handled also by pvm only getting okay? now we are going to enter into the second situation where the problem is raised by pvm but handled by programmer let the pvm raise it because pvm is uh, executing your code and while executing at some point it encounters some abnormal thing then whatever that abnormal thing was its corresponding class object is created but after creating the object it will transfer the control to some place where you have taken care of it getting okay? and for that for second situation that is where the problem programmer want to handle let it be raised by pvm pvm raises it but handling programmer want to do for that python has given one construct called try except okay so it has given one construct called try except block okay now how to use this try except block so that's what we are going to learn its proper syntax okay see so if programmer wants to handle exception gracefully systematically means uh, programmer wants that it should not stop the execution let the execution go on abnormal thing occurred for that abnormal thing it should give some meaningful user friendly message and then continue with the remaining code instead of halting the program then you can use this try except okay so if programmer wants to handle exception gracefully and generate his own user friendly messages then use this try except block okay which is try catch in other languages here it is try except now what is the general syntax of it that we'll see try colon as it's a header line you have to complete with colon already i told you try colon then the code except colon and then the code theek okay? hai see now in the try you have to put that code on which you want to keep a watch or a spy or the code which may probably generate a problem means you think that this code can possibly generate a problem so to put a watch on that code you'll put it in a try block getting okay? so in the try block what will go in a try block you'll write what that code which may possibly generate a problem or that code on which you want to keep a watch or a spy getting or no like like uh, when you were toddler when you were toddler means you were not able to walk also on your own feet getting so when you used to do toddling at very small age so always mom had a watch on you she used to allow you to freely do something but continuously the monitoring was there getting okay, and the moment you do something she was there to take care of it right or no just try to relate it so this is the code 
विच में पॉसिबली जनरेट अ प्रॉब्लम ओके तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप अ स्पाय ऑन इट और अ वॉच ऑन इट और अ मॉनिटरिंग ऑन इट पुट इट इन अ ट्राइब लॉक नाउ सपोज ड्यूरिंग ट्राइब लॉक एग्जीक्यूशन ट्राइब लॉक लाइन बाय लाइन द एग्जीक्यूशन इज गोइंग ऑन एंड नो प्रॉब्लम अक्कर तो नो प्रॉब्लम इट विल रन द फॉलोइंग कोड वॉट एवर इज कमिंग आफ्टर ट्राई एक्सेप्ट वॉट एवर द रिमेनिंग कोड इज विल गेट एग्जीक्यूटेड बट सपोज ड्यूरिंग ट्राई ब्लॉक लाइन बाय लाइन इट इज रनिंग द कोड एंड एट सम पॉइंट एन एबनॉर्मल थिंग इज अकर्ड देन वॉट द प्रॉब्लम इज इट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड एंड आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट द कंट्रोल इज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट टू द एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक द कंट्रोल इज ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट टू एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक एंड देन द कोड इन द एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक इज एक्सिक्यूटेड and then it will continue with the remaining code get it but in this the program doesn't get halted that is the benefit program is not terminated okay so always remember what will happen in the try block you have put a watch or the spy means that code which may possibly generate an error that you have put here and then we have an accept block here also we have some code get it now see here uh, during execution of the try block line by line it is running the code and during execution of try block at some point the problem has occurred abnormal thing so its corresponding class object is created by python runtime environment and from that point the flow is transferred to the except block means here also the flow transfer take place like break continue return return in function we have studied then in chapter 2 we have studied break and continue in loops okay same way here the flow transfer will take place to except block it will run the except code and then it will continue with the following code that is the code which is after that try block okay but by no means by no means you can come back to the place where problem had occurred and continue the remaining code means except it goes to except runs the except code and after completing the except you are making it to come back to the place where it is called called means where the problem had occurred and then continue the remaining code will never be possible in some languages it is in some languages they have given such facility ki once it goes in the except block you will handle it and then they have given some keywords like resume resume next i guess vb.net and all in vb.net and all they have given such facility so you can use a resume statement resume next statement so it will go back again to the place where the problem had occurred here there is no such situation but at least your program is avoided from halting problem occurred control transferred in the except block except code run and then it will run the following code getting a maximum you can start the code again from the beginning but you cannot come back to the point where the problem had occurred and continue with the remaining code in the try block in the try block the remaining code will be skipped from execution okay so it is clear to you how the working is so try okay the code on which you want to keep a watch or the code on which you want to keep a monitoring such that we want to just keep check on it ki whether it is doing some problem if it does we will detect it and take the control to the except block see suspicious code that may throw exception it will throw is not necessary as i said now when you were toddler not necessary every time you do the mischief or you are doing something wrong you are crawling on the ground but mom is continuously having a watch on you to check you are doing something wrong get it but suppose you are not doing anything wrong it's okay but if you do it immediately who is there to take care of it get it so that way same is the concept in coding so suspicious code that may throw the exception that goes in this try block okay 
and the code to take care of it. Now I hope this is the symbol, symbol notation which designates what taking care of. So to take care of, this is the symbol. Okay. So see block of code that will be executed if there is some exception in the try block. If in your try block there is a problem at one point, so whatever the problem is, its corresponding class object is created. Now we will say where is that object? We haven't collected it. Python has given facility. Python says if you want to collect it, you can. So in a try block, execution going on at some point problem occurred. Depending on the problem, its corresponding class object is created, and from there the transfer takes place to accept. and then in the except that problem is handled means you are giving some meaningful messages and then continuing with the remaining code getting okay, will go here so what will go in that except block the code which is to be executed after some exception is occurred in the try block okay one simple example i have given or i'll try to show you here you can do it in a file also and then run it see this is try block here i am accepting two integers from user now time mean i am writing enter a b int input enter b then suppose i am giving statement like this before division then we are printing the division quotient and then after division okay so before division then the quotient and then the after division theek hai okay now coming to except block where we are just giving a message like this like Uh, division by zero occurred. Right, that's all. Now see, it will start with the try block. With this try block, you are giving some input like eight, two. So now everything is fine. So in a try block, no problem occurred. So it will run this code and continue with the remaining code. It will not. run the except block see you have entered 8 you have entered 2 then it will give the answer before division then 8 by 2 that is 4 and after division everything properly has come before division then the quotient then the after division but if suppose the same script i write and now the input given is 8 and 0 so when you give 8 and 0 the denominator is 0 so this statement will come before division then it reaches to this division 8 by 0 it comes to this division part 8 by 0 but when it tries to do this 8 by 0 i hope you got it before division it will print then it will come to 8 by 0 but 8 by 0 is not possible only so there is a problem so that corresponding problem class object is created that is zero division error okay that class is there its object is created and immediately from that point the control is transferred to except it won't run the following code whatever code is after a by b that code it won't run it will take the control directly to except getting clear and in except whatever the the code is will run and then it will continue with the remaining code see does it give before division yes and then because of a by b where b is zero error has occurred and the control has come directly to except and it prints the code in the except but it doesn't print this after division why it doesn't print after division because just before that the problem has occurred and because the problem has occurred the control has transferred from that point to except and i told you there is no facility to 
come back to the point where problem has occurred and continue with the remaining code python has not given such facility okay see this is just a simple example you are running it but while executing you have given the input like this first you have given phi then zero but phi by zero because of phi by zero what has occurred because of phi by zero zero division error has occurred and the control is transferred to accept and it displays division by zero it doesn't display the quotient okay and this is the note point which i have already explained to you that by no means means in any circumstances there is no chance to resume the code from where the exception had occurred see note that in no circumstances the code which is following the statement where the exception occurred is executed getting whatever code which is following the statement where the problem has occurred where the problem after that whatever the code is that code will not run okay so no circumstances the code which is following the statement where the execution occurred is executed that is you cannot resume execution from the place where exception had occurred getting okay? so no chance to handle the error come back to the point where the problem occurred and then complete the remaining code you cannot you can continue with the remaining code not the remaining code where the problem had occurred okay so hope the situation is clear to you coming to the next thing that is uh, to a try except you can attach a else block which you have seen for a while loop for loop also i hope you remember that in python you can attach a else block to a while loop you can attach a else block to a for loop do you remember or no clear i hope you remember it yes uh, yesterday you had asked me one question too from the test right in that also see to that while loop one else block was attached okay yeah yeah so python gives facility of attaching a else block to while loop for loop so they say you can attach a else block to except also getting okay? uh, but when that else block is run whenever you attach it to a while loop like i equal to 1 then i am writing while i less than equal to 5 then i am printing that i then i am incrementing i and then i am attaching a else block print all done so always else block is run at the end once only when the while loop stops naturally natural termination that is because of this condition become false if your while loop is abnormally coming out by break or something by break if you are terminating and coming out that time else won't run else will run only when your while loop stops naturally yes see when it completes five iterations at the end it runs else block which you can attach to for loop same way you can attach it to which block also a try except block but the question is when that else block run so else block run when there is no problem in the try block so if your try block is smoothly executed it is fine very well executed so if it executes smoothly from first line to last line in that whole try block so in the try block when the entire execution is complete then it runs else block but if in try block there is a exception occurred then it will come to except block and run the except block that time it won't run else block always remember so in simple terms when else block is run so else block is executed whenever in a try block no problem has occurred means in a try block no exception is raised your try block is executed smoothly then at the end it will run else block see i'll give you the 
proof also of it here i am writing all is well ठीक है सी नो नाउ आई एम गिविंग इनपुट विच इज करेक्ट नो एक्सेप्शन इज गोइंग टू रेज तो आई हैव गिवन एट देन टू तो इट विल गिव मैसेज बिफोर डिवीजन देन इट विल गिव द क्वेश्चन एट बाय टू दैट इज फोर देन इट विल गिव आंसर आफ्टर डिवीजन एंड इट विल कम टू एल्स ब्लॉक ऑल इज वेल सी द सिक्वेंस बिफोर डिवीजन देन द क्वेश्चन देन आफ्टर डिवीजन एंड देन द कंट्रोल कम टू विच ब्लॉक else block where it is printing all is well but in this case only if you are giving input because of which the problem is going to occur 8 and 0 so before division will come but because of 8 by 0 the problem occurred and therefore the control has come to accept and it will only display the message of accept that is division by 0 occurred getting to before division and division by zero occurred but it doesn't print else block so hope the else block concept is clear to you okay see syntax try except else and remember this code which is in else it is the code which will be executed in the scenario if no exception occurs in the try block if your try block is executed very well without raising any exception so at the end it will run else block okay see quickly i have just given an example in a try block i am accepting two numbers then i am printing their i am calculating their quotient and then displaying it now if both the numbers are fine quotient come prints the quotient and then it will print all is well ठीक है सी आई एम गिविंग 8 देन 2 8 बाय 2 इज 4 इट विल प्रिंट दैट 4 एंड देन डायरेक्टली द कंट्रोल कम टू एल्स ब्लॉक वेयर इट इज प्रिंटिंग ऑल इज वेल ओके इज इट क्लियर टू यू यस एल्स इज आल्सो क्लियर ओके देन कमिंग टू सम मोर पॉसिबिलिटीज देयर आर many more combinations given so that too we'll discuss now uh, python says that if you want to handle uh, each type of problem separately now in the previous program what was happening whatever problem occurred the control was coming to except block isn't it you go to may whatever problem occur irrespective what the problem is whether it is a value error whether it's a type error whether it's a index error whether it's a key error whatever error the control was coming to except block but suppose you want to handle each type of problem separately means the handling logic is different for time being i am telling okay, like if you have a division by zero error so you want to handle it separately if there is a value error you want to handle it separately okay if there is a index error you want to handle it separately then python says you can write multiple except block means to a try block you can attach more than one except block get right but to every except block you have to give the exception type ki whether it is value error index error whatever right see so to handle each type of exception separately use following try except syntax get right see the syntax is like this try obviously the code which is a suspicious code or the code on which we want to continuously keep a monitoring or the code on which we want to keep a spy and for what we are keeping the spy to check whether it generates a problem okay but whatever problem is occurring i told you whatever problem occur its corresponding what will be there class the corresponding class object is created and then the control is transferred to accept now here the accept matching process start 
तो वॉट एवर प्रॉब्लम इज रेज इट्स टाइप एंड दिस एक्सेप्शन टाइप इज मैच ओके तो इफ इट इज मैचिंग इट विल रन दैट एक्सेप्ट कोड देन इट विल रन द रिमेनिंग कोड इफ इट डजन मैच देन इट विल गो एंड मैच विद द नेक्स्ट एक्सेप्ट तो इफ इट इज रनिंग एनी ऑफ द एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक तो इट इंडिकेट्स वॉट कि द प्रीवियस एक्सेप्ट आर नॉट मैच एंड दैट एक्सेप्शन इज मैच क्लियर ओके एंड यूर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट जस्ट अ एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक दैट टू यू कैन राइट मैंने एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्शन वन टू थ्री एंड लास्ट एक्सेप्ट कोलन दैट टू यू कैन राइट वेन इट विल गो टू दैट एक्सेप्ट वेन नन ऑफ दैम मैचेस इफ नन ऑफ दैम वेन यूर एक्सेप्शन इज नॉट मैचिंग विथ नन ऑफ दिस एक्सेप्शन टाइप then in that case it will generate what generate nahi it will go to what accept block only accept block but some may say like if i have not written accept block then what will happen and exception also doesn't match then it will go and check the outer try catch if there is like if you have written a try catch when a try accept inside another try accept so it will search the outer try accept not the caller there also not to ultimately pvm means finally pvm will take care of it okay so hope the situation is clear the code to handle exception of type 1 will go there code to handle exception of type 2 will go there okay now uh, one illustration i'll take to explain this multiple exception uh, but before that I just have to tell you about command line arguments. Okay, so command line arguments means when you pass some value to the script from the command prompt. Command prompt means your shell prompt. Getting? Now you can do it from idle also or any IDE. But just I want to tell you, like when you go to CMD, this is your shell prompt or your command prompt. This is the command prompt. or also called as a shell prompt and from here when you are running any script clear see you are writing python okay and then the script name whatever your script name is okay and then you are passing some values like 67 abc pqr 78 whatever I hope this you know it in Java two or in C plus plus C also. There it is received in main. Main receives these values. Yes or no? That is the reason in Java you write now to main you write string args square bracket, isn't it? So all the values which you are passing to the script from the command prompt, they are called as command line arguments. These are the command line arguments. Now the question is how the script will read these values. We are saying that ki these values are passed to your script, but how the script is going to read it? Okay, so remember it is actually stored into one property, or you can say uh, instead of calling it as a property, a global variable in the sys module. There is a module called sys. and inside that sys module there is one property called args getting okay, right? and in that all these values are stored as a list getting okay, right? it's args or arg v i'll just tell you argument values so all these 78 pqr abs 67 first dot py not python the script name and all this are kept in one list and that list is a part of your sys module and then once it comes in a list you can access it getting clear now you may be having a surprise question like me you may be surprised me a curiosity question that uh, suddenly why he started telling about command line argument where whereas we were in the topic called exception handling so why because in one exception handling program i want to use command line because i want to tell you how to do command line handling in python 2 okay so what we'll do is we'll write one script in which we'll print this command line argument see okay i'll just create one script 
the name to the script I'll give as command line argument. Okay, I'll give it as CLA. Now I said you have to import one module called sys. Okay, and if you print and see sys dot arc v. Okay, I told arc s it is arc v only, which I corrected also later. Just you are printing it. You are just printing and seeing it. Okay, see. Now if I run this from command prompt, sorry, Python. Then I'm writing cla.py and then I'm passing some values like Ram, Sita, 4500, 45, 56, Lakshman, enter. So the moment I say enter, actually all these command line argument along with your script name also, the script name and this all value are passed in a list which is a global variable in the module sys and what is that name argv so in argv all these arguments are stored see can you see this list okay and this whole list is in argv and you can access it now once you can access it you can utilize it for your further operations like for your program you can pass these command line arguments from idle also there is no need to go to the command prompt from idle also how to do it when you run run customize you take instead of taking run module take run module customize okay so it gives you one window where you have to type your command line argument don't write the script name it is implied means it is assumed here you'll just give the values like ram sita 45 48 Okay. Can you please repeat how we get this dialog because voice was break, broken for something. You just go to run and run module when we write. Instead of run module, take run customize. Okay. Normally we run the script by type by selecting run module. Right. Isn't it? Normally we run the script by going to run run module. So here you have to write run customized. Okay. okay. So yeah, this okay. dialog come and here you can give your command line values. Enter. See, the moment I enter, does it print that list which is in that arg v? Inside that arg v, this list is present in which the script name is the first one, then all the values which you have given. Right? Now, uh, you may say like, why this command line in this exception handling? So I want to write one uh, program of exception handling for multiple except. Means I want to handle multiple accepts in one, one program. And in which command line argument concept also I want to use it. Okay. What I want to do is from command line, I'll be passing two values to the script. See, Python script name is command line argument dot py and two numbers I'll pass. That's all. Two numbers. If that two numbers are perfectly fine, so it should display the quotient of it. That is 8 by 2, whatever the quotient is. But suppose you are giving only one value and not the second. Right? You gave only one and you have not given the second. But still inside the code, you will be accessing like this. Argv of 1 divided by Argv of 2. You will try to do like this. Isn't it or no? Why? Yes. Because this is the first value and 0th value is program name. 1th value is 8 and 2nd value is the second which I want. But when you try to access Argv of 2, which is not there only, so it will throw which error? Index error. So I want to handle that index error separately. Okay. Second, you have given both the value, but the second one is zero. So when it will try to divide it, 
it will generate zero division error. Getting? And suppose you have given both the value, but one is not a correct integer, like eight and RAM. So when you'll try to convert RAM to integer, because without converting to integer, you cannot do division. So when you'll try to convert RAM to integer, it will generate value error. Will it generate a value error? Yes. So I want to handle all these three problems separately. And the values I'm not going to take from the keyboard. Values I'm going to pass from command line. Okay. So now how to handle this try except. Okay. See now. Now uh, instead of writing import sys, you can write this also. From sys import arc v uh, v is a variable so you cannot use it you can maximum create a alias and use it otherwise you have to write sys only okay i'll come to try block first what i'll do is i'll convert the first value to sys dot r v of zero to integer second value i'll convert to integer Okay, both values which are there. The, sorry, but one mistake I did. First value uh, will be the. Yes, yes, I'm changing it. Yeah. Okay, because zeroth place is the script. Zeroth place is the script name. One then second place the two numbers are. So that I gave it. Okay, I'm converting it to integer and bring it in AB. Now while conversion also exception can be raised. Like suppose any one of this, if you have given a string, but that string cannot be converted to integer. So at in any of these two statement, exception can occur and it go to except block. Second year only one more error can occur. Like if you have not given only the second value, you have given first, but there is no second. So index error can occur. Okay, so two types of error can occur here only. But suppose that two errors are not there. So you are going giving some message like this system dot out dot println before division okay. then I am giving the quotient a by b then I am very sorry what I am writing println very very sorry for that I'm writing a Java code this happens when in brain all the language syntaxes they keep playing with them clear so that is the issue then again print after division getting okay, so different languages in the brain they have their competition so in the brain that competition goes on so that time all such situation happen i also didn't oh, observe that you are writing system dot <laughs> println so i was also it is correct <laughs> but suddenly i realized it okay, this is a java syntax i'm writing <laughs> okay now coming to the first except first except i'm writing as index error suppose there i'm giving a message that uh, in sorry missing parameter I'll give okay missing parameter another except I'll handle called value error there I'll give invalid parameter then zero division error okay there I'll give uh, error as division by zero then else block also if you want to write you can take okay? mentioning all is well 
तो एल्स ब्लॉक ऑब्वियसली विल अकर वेन इन दिस होल ट्राई ब्लॉक नो प्रॉब्लम अकर्ड तो बिफोर डिविजन देन द क्वेश्चन देन आफ्टर डिविजन एंड देन ऑल इज वेल राइट विल ट्राई टू रन दिस बाय ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज सी फ्रॉम हियर आई एम गिविंग प्रॉपर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स टू वैल्यूज लाइक एट एंड टू तो एट इज इन आर्ग वी ऑफ वन टू इज इन आर्ग वी ऑफ टू बिकॉज जीरो इज इम्प्लाइड द स्क्रिप्ट नेम इज इट इट तो नाउ इन दिस केस नो प्रॉब्लम विल अकर तो इट विल गिव बिफोर डिविजन देन द क्वेश्चन देन आफ्टर डिविजन एंड देन एल्स ब्लॉक ऑल इज वेल सी बिफोर डिविजन द क्वेश्चन आफ्टर डिविजन एंड एल्स ब्लॉक ऑल इज वेल राइट ओके नाउ इफ सपोज आई एम रनिंग दिस विथ डिफरेंट इनपुट like uh, the second argument i'm not giving only i'm giving 8 and the second is not there so when it will try to accept access arg v of 2 so it's not there so it will generate an index error so will it go to index error here which error will occur index error in the script theek okay? hai see so therefore it goes directly to missing parameter why it went directly to missing parameter you got it here only the problem occurred na you are accessing arg v of 2 which is not there so here object of which class is created index error and the control is directly transferred here doesn't match here doesn't match no here it matches so it prints missing error and therefore all is well is not displayed right suppose we are running the same thing with suppose one value i am giving ram so when it tries to convert ram to integer it cannot so it will generate a value error and it will go to value error except getting okay, right? and gives invalid parameter and suppose i am running it with input 8 and 0 so in that case the first two statement don't generate a problem data is valid and it is present in the array therefore no index error no value error a and b has come before division and the moment you try to divide it it will generate zero division error go to the respective except and then display the message see before division and go to that zero division catch and there it is giving zero di zero division by zero clear so i hope you got it the same question i have just shown here okay and all possibilities i have given okay if you are running it with these different possibility see python script name there is no need to write dot py it is assumed it is dot py file see both the values are valid therefore a by b 4 it will print for division done and all is well but here see when the second value is 0 so division by 0 occur so it goes here here the second value is ram it cannot convert to integer so it will throw value error so it comes here doesn't match comes here match so it gives invalid input and in this case you have not given only the value so when you try to access arg v of 2 which is not there so it's a index error so it comes here